iWafer is the first electronic design application for iPhone. If you design ICs, sell ASIC or foundry services, or simply are looking to confirm the manufacturing and cost feasibility of your chip, iWafer is the tool for you. Let me show you how it works. In the tab bar at the bottom, you see four buttons for four different capabilities. The first one calculates the most optimal die size for your design. The second one, labeled yield, estimates yield of the design for a certain process geometry. The third one, wafer, calculates the best die count per wafer. And the fourth one, estimates your die cost. Each of the four capabilities can be run separately or in a wizard style flow from the left button to the right button. Let me show an example. Let's say we're designing a chip targeted for 65 nanometer node. It's core limited. The design has 196 pins. Three million gates. Three millimeter square of analog circuitry. 8 mm square of memory and say let's try an exotic aspect ratio how about 5 by 4 let's click on calculate the die will then have a dimension of 5.1 by 4.1 millimeter at about 87 percent utilization now we head to the yield view. As you can see, the information from the previous view is carried over. It's a 5.1 by 4.1 millimeter die targeted at 65 nanometer process node. There are also some process related parameters such as defect density that are already there, but we'll leave the default values in there for this demo. So let's click on calculate and it estimates the manufacturing yield to be about 80%. Okay, we now move forward to the wafer view. The relevant information calculated previously are carried over. And just as before, we'll leave the process parameters alone for this demo. So let's go ahead and click on calculate. The default wafer size was a 300 millimeter wafer. And with that, we'll get 3044 dies. Let's go ahead and change it to a 200 millimeter wafer. It went ahead and recalculated the die per wafer for the 200 millimeter wafer size. And now we're getting 1270 dies per wafer. Finally, we move to the cost view. All relevant information from prior views are carried over. And let's click on calculate. I wafer calculates that in each wafer will have 1,009 good dyes, and the cost per good die is about 92 cents. If you want to email this as a quote to someone, you can just go ahead and click the email quote button on the lower left. 